Hollywood 2.0, and that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we got some exciting news. Of course, now by the time you watch this, it's not that exciting. They announced this a couple of days ago, but since we cover Summerlin, I thought it was important to share with you what is going on with Summerlin, right? Yeah, I got some new news. And as I had predicted long ago in some of my market updates, that a lot of the pricing here, especially in Summerlin, is starting to look a lot like California. And a lot of comments that I see is that Vegas is turning into a little part of West LA or something or East LA, you know, oh, East, LA. East LA, but we're, <laughs> we're turning into a little California and that can be good news and it could be bad news, you know, because with this influx of people moving from California has definitely increased the prices here in the Valley, mm -hmm. but we're not talking about housing. We're going to talk about something far more interesting than that. Sony Pictures Entertainment is embarking on an ambitious venture in Summerlin South with a groundbreaking plan for a 1.8 billion state-of-the-art movie studio and a versatile mixed-use development. This transformative project promises to be a significant economic boom for West Las Vegas, potentially generating 10,000 new jobs. While the commencement date for construction is yet to be announced, the project has successfully cleared a critical hurdle with the Clark County Zoning Commission's approval for several variances. Situated on a 31-acre track near Town Center Drive and conveniently adjacent to the 215 Beltway, the Summerlin Production Studio will be at the heart of this expansive development. On completion, the site is set to feature a complex of 10 buildings, collectively offering around 500,000 square feet of cutting edge facilities tailored to film productions and studio operations. Yeah, so basically when you go off Town Center, you'll see RC Willie and it's the lot right behind it. It's off of Town Center and I do believe Flamingo. Um, right catty corner from it is Trilogy Sunstone and then across the street is a community called Stonegate by KB Homes. Um, I know that in the news that I saw in the RJ, a lot of the retirees, especially in Siena, are expressing concern about this whole, whole project because it's going to tie up some traffic, mm -hmm. right? It make it congested there. Exactly. Because off of Durango, once they, yeah, <laughs> off of Sunset and Durango, once they built, or off, off Durango, Durango. Mm -hmm. yeah, that casino, and now it's just super crazy right there off of the 215 in Durango. So I can see their concern, especially they're living in a retirement community, but I don't know how much busyness it will be, maybe, but because there's another element to this. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So complementing the studios, the mixed use component of the development will introduce 100,000 square feet dedicated to retail, dining, and office spaces, all crafted to enhance the functionality and experience of the film studio. Additional amenities will include a state-of-the-art emergency room, a satellite office for Clark County administration, augmenting the community services alongside the existing Clark County Fire Station. Wow. So mm -hmm. I do believe how it's mapped out is that as you come off of Town Center heading on Flamingo, that first corner is going to be the shopping complex. That's easy. And then right next to it would be the studio, which makes sense because if you know anything about that part of Summerlin South, there really isn't that much shopping over there. You have to go across the way of the freeway. Um, so I think having shopping amenities is a bonus. But the caveat is going to be is there is vacant land across the way, which is um, directly across from Trilogy Summerlin, which they had anticipating building another casino there. Mm, that's right. That land is zoned for that. It's zoned for a casino. And I bet you people in those retirement communities are not going to like it. Especially a big old building. Well, there. I don't think anyone in that live off of that Summerlin South area is going to like it because you have the most expensive homes over there. You have the Ridges, the Summit Club, 
You're going to have the new Ascension by Pulte and Toll Brothers. Red Rock's down there, too. It's going to... Red Rock. Oh, oops. No. It's going to really, really be a lot of traffic over there once all of this is said and done, right? In my opinion. Mm-hmm. But I think it's very cool adventure um, and that Sony Productions, and I know that Mark Wahlberg is supposedly uh, doing a supervisory role in it um, because he did buy a house down the road in the Summit Club as well. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Huh. I thought it was interesting to go over it, especially all over the uh, the news. They're calling it Hollywood 2.0. Um, and that, you know, that there's going to be Summerlin Production Studios. I like the fact, though, that it is going to bring 10,000 plus jobs. And in the RJ, they did state that most of these production jobs make at least 100,000 a year. Ooh, that'll be very nice. Yeah. So I think that's good for our economy. Mm-hmm. It's good for everything overall. Yeah. Bringing the movie industry here is a really good idea as well. There's so many movies that are already made in Vegas. So yeah. it'd be nice to have that extra, you know... Yeah, especially with California's government and policies. A lot of people want to get out of California. And you know what? Beverly Hills in L.A., that's just very run down and dirty. Uh, <laughs> At least we're nice and clean over Sum- here. Summerlin is very nice and clean, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, but hopefully they won't run down our city. No, but, but they'll bring a lot of the entertainment. Yes. Let us know in the comments what you think of this video and what you think of this whole new Sony Pictures Entertainment teaming up with Summerlin Studios. So that's pretty cool. I love the idea. Anyway, folks, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching.